welterweight division matchup. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover, truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensberry rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from the Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Daly City, California, USA, Rodriguez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Lee the Leech King Leon! Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? Whoa! Oh, straight right. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive player. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. How good is that right hand? Oh, knee strike right to the body. Slips. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, huge hook. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he caught the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut oh. the body up. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh! Punches blocked. 
Lance. That's a big ball from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He's got the turtle in that kick. He lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting down the side. With these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Blocks the shot. Nice body. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And there comes the separation now. Lance with the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. A little single collar tie there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Huge block there. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Be out. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, straight right. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots get blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Good punch. And that's the end of round number two. Stop, Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Well, most 
Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really shown Whoa! up. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. There. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh, big punch lands through the middle. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he like that left hand. He's got him right here. Misses with the left punch there. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down there. Oh, oh! That uppercut in! Back and forth we go! Oh, man! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Jab hurts a little bit. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish. Oh! Huge right hand! He's getting lit up right now, John. go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Lee the Leech King Leon! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion. 